Hi, and welcome to the talk about Scopio. I'm Valentin Rothberg. I work at Red Hat in the Container Engines team, where we are developing a set of container tools. To illustrate our philosophy, we do not want to have a one-size-fits-all solution that you can see here on the left. This is a Swiss Army knife that really exists. You can buy that, um, maybe not in a store, but definitely online. It weighs around a kilogram, it has dozens of features, and well, by, by looking at it, we can pretty much use or access all these kinds of tools, although it might be tricky to cut an apple because somehow the the, the, the non-functional property of it is it's really, really heavy. Um, it supports all these things. But adding a new feature or changing an existing one can be very complicated. Engineering-wise, we need to make sure that there is no undesired side effect. Um, innovating in certain areas can be harder or maybe impossible because there could be a conflict between two parallel developments. So we decided for implementing more specialized tools for the entire life cycle of containers, which you somehow see on, on the right. What we gain from it is faster and easier development, we can innovate quicker and hence meet the demands and requirements of users and customers more easily and quicker. Scopio is our Swiss army knife for dealing with container images. It's developed upstream at github.com containers along with the libraries that it's using and its sibling projects, Podman and Builder, and also Cryo is using large parts of of the stack there. It does not require a running daemon. It does not require root privileges, so it's perfect for the HPC use case. You can copy single images or lists of images, so-called manifest lists or manifest indexes. Um, it supports different image formats. It's compatible with the Docker world, so it reads and creates, or can create, Docker uh, version 2, schema 1 and schema 2 images, and for sure, open standards. It supports the Open Container Initiative, all specifications from it. It supports the GZIP and the C standard compression, and to somehow iterate on the Swiss Army Knife comparison, it only weighs 23 megabyte in binary size. So it's comparatively really, really small army knife and easy to deploy. It was born by the desire to inspect remote images. So back in 2015, a colleague at Red Hat, Antonio Modaka, he wanted to contribute a feature to Pot, Potman, I already used this one, no, to Docker where he was tasked to inspect remote images. So previously and somehow still, uh, if you want to inspect metadata of a container and you're using Docker, you first have to pull down the entire image, meaning all its layer, and then you can inspect metadata such as the, 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 the image config and the image manifest. And the Docker maintainers uh, understandably said, um, look, we just can't accept uh, yet another command or yet another flag to the command line interface because it is and was already too complex, which is somehow, well, it's a side effect of having one big tool instead of multiple smaller ones. But they said, look, a container registry is basically just a web server, so you can curl everything if needed. And Antonio did that, but he didn't use curl, he put everything into a proper Go program and Scopio was born. So with Scopio inspect, you can inspect the metadata of a container image, namely the manifest. You can also inspect with dash dash config, the config of an image. Here, uh, I want to explain a little bit of syntax, uh, where especially the docker colon slash slash, this uh, is needed to tell Scopio which transport to use. The docker, in this case, refers to the old terminology of a docker registry. Today, we might just call it registry instead. But in this case, we're reaching out to a registry, namely docker IO, and we download and copy and then display the manifest of the image. As you can see, it's JSON, just as much as everything in the container space or most things in a container's ecosystem is JSON, so it easily integrates into, the, into your existing pipelines. But there are more transports than just talking to a registry, namely the container storage, which is a local storage 
backed by overlay or butter as whatever you want to use um, that is also shared by all the container tools namely builder portman cryo scopio so if you build an image with builder you can then copy it for instance with a scopio basically all the other uh, other tools have access to it. There is a directory transport, which is a non-standardized format to explode an image on a specified path. Various Docker transports. First, the one which is just, just Docker, the one talking to a registry, which we've just been looking at before. Then there's a Docker archive, which implements the Docker safe format. And you can also talk, basically push and pull from a local Docker daemon if needed. Then last but not least, and most importantly in uh, our opinion, is the Open Container Initiative. So we support the OCI image spec and this format can further be compressed into a tar archive somehow to allow for, for more use cases. If you want to copy an image, you use Scopio copy, then you specify the source transport along with its reference and then the destination transport along with its reference. But Scopio and its sibling tools is very, very flexible. And this somehow illustrates the, the philosophy that we're trying to follow by having a specialized tool for a use case, in this case, managing um, container images. Here I want to talk about the registries configuration, which is a configuration file that all of these tools adhere to. And where we can configure all kinds of switches and attributes of registries when pulling, pushing, inspecting, searching, and so on and so forth. Um, one setting is the so-called unqualified search registries list. When you do a Docker pull, Fedora, so Fedora in this case is an unqualified name, it's a short name, we don't know the registry or server we need to pull from. In this case, Docker will always reach out to docker.io. Um, we allow for configuring more than just docker.io, it could be Quay, your internal server, just a mirror, a pull through cache, whatever you need. Um, it allows also to specify on a very fine granular level how to contact a registry. Um, so those are the namespace registry settings where you can configure a registry, a namespace on the registry or even an image to always be pulled without TLS verification or to be blocked entirely or to use a list of mirrors that you can configure and those mirrors will be contacted prior to the main registry when pulling. Then, last but not least, I want to talk about Scopio Sync, which can be very handy in uh, HPC environments. Scopio Sync synchronizes images between registries and local directories. It's really targeted for batch copying images and was initially motivated to support air-gapped environments. So imagine you have a cluster or an air-gapped environment where you have a network that is uh, detached, not connected to the internet. You want to copy or inject certain images from the outside world inside Scopio Th Sync is the way to go. You can use it to copy, to, to basically batch copy images on the USB media drive. You plug it into a server, you copy it to the registry and you're done. It offers a very flexible command line interface, but um, you can also use YAML files for doing that. So. Last but not least, Scopio is developed upstream at github.com container Scopio. It offers also, um, you can run it in container images, so basically in a CI CD pipeline on OpenShift uh, building instances. You can use the image to copy images from A to B. You can find those at Quayo Scopio stable. And Scopio is available on all major Linux distributions and macOS.